How about it, y'all? This is Daniel Nicholson with Nicholson Farms, and welcome back to another video. Uh, today, it is finally time to put our early spring vegetables into the ground. It is March 24th, I do believe, and I want to go ahead and get my early season stuff into the garden and because we're supposed to get some rain tomorrow. So y'all stick with us, check out what we're planting and how we like to plant our vegetables. So we've got several things that are ready to go into the garden. They could probably could have already been in the garden, but it's been real wet here. So I wanted to let them grow some more. And I have planted some other things since we did a greenhouse video. So I'll kind of show you what we've got in here right now. Uh, right here, they're just starting to come up, but I planted 48 Better Boy tomatoes. And these will be going into my dad's garden uh, for me to be able to sell some, some tomatoes. So kind of moving on down the line, talk about some things that we're planting and some that still have some time to go. But these are our uh, Brussels sprouts. We're gonna go ahead and put them in the ground today. Uh, this is squash and zucchini, so it's not gonna go in the ground yet. It'll, it's got another about two weeks before I wanna plant that. And then we have our spinach. It's growing wonderfully. Uh, we've got some radishes, hailstone radishes. Uh, they've been ready to be in the ground, but we're gonna go ahead and get them in the ground today. We've got some butter crunch lettuce, or this is romaine, and that's butter crunch lettuce. We absolutely love that butter crunch. We'll be planting some more of that here soon. So right here, our onions are gonna go in the ground today. And this is where I planted my garlic, and it did not come up that well. Out of 18 seeds, or 18 little cubes, we only had six plants growing. So I don't even know if I'm gonna bother wasting my time planting that. We'll just kinda have to see. Over here, my early girl tomatoes did not really come up that well. Uh, a couple have sprouted in the past couple days, um, but you can see how, I mean, these were planted at the same time. Look how big that one is. So I don't I don't know what we're gonna do with those. I might just plant the, the couple bigger ones in our little garden at the house. And then our Roma tomatoes came up real well. And also the peppers are doing good. My bell, All my bell peppers didn't come up and some kind of got started late. But I'm pretty sure I know what I did wrong with my tomatoes and my peppers is I didn't, I don't have a heat mat and that'll be something we, we purchase here soon. So, but with that all that being said, we're gonna grab what we need, put it in the truck and I'm gonna take it up to my house and I'll catch up with you up there. So I've got all my plants up here at our house. Um, got my Brussels sprouts, my radishes, my spinach, butter crunch and romaine and my onions. I think what I decided on my garlic, I'm gonna take it back and put it back in the greenhouse. Maybe those seeds will come up. We'll just kind of play it by ear. I'm not too concerned about that. You can find garlic anywhere. It's pretty cheap. Uh, let's figure we talk about some of the tools that I like to use. So you saw when I planted these, I used that um, soil block maker. And so instead of instead of having all that little plastic trays and stuff that you get plants in, you've got this one individual soil block that you're going to be putting into the ground. Now how I'm going to be putting that in the ground is I even did this whenever I buy stuff in little flats. I use a bulb planter. Basically, you stick it in the ground, you pull it out, stick it in the ground, pull it out, and you can eject your soil. This works well. It gets deep enough, you can go up to, it says right here, four inches. So that's a little tri uh, tip if you've never done that. Instead of digging all your hand holes by hand, that kind of gets aggravating. So another thing that we'll be using is just to lay out my rows, I've got I run drip torch through all my garden, and then I have this kind of thicker hose at the end with these cutoff valves. Uh, this garden is 25 by 60, uh, so it's perfect for about seven rows. So I've got seven valves on here, so we're gonna use it to help us lay out our rows. So we'll get that hose laid out real quick so we can run our, make sure we know where our rows are. 
all this should fit in one row, I think. And if you look at my garden here behind me, uh, this side over here, over that direction, is uh, a whole lot more shaded. It's better soil, actually. And so I, I think these cooler season plants will do a whole lot better on that side of the garden. That's where I typically plant my lettuce and stuff. And so we're gonna put it in there. And the only thing other than that, maybe we won't put everything in a row. This soil right here, right here is a shade darker. If you can tell, it is a whole lot loose. It holds moisture well. It doesn't get real tight. I think I'm gonna plant my onions there. But let me get my hose set up and we'll figure all that out. So I've got these T-posts just holding it down for right now, but as you can see, that one valve centers up with this row. And so this is where we're gonna start. I'm gonna get a tape measure, stretch it down in a straight line so I know my rows are straight and I can measure out how far apart my plants are. And all these valves will line up with their row. So as you can see, we got valves everywhere. I got a couple I need to replace, but we're not gonna be worrying about that today. I'm not gonna be hooking up my irrigation today so since we're supposed to be getting some rain tomorrow so i'm not really too concerned about it so let me stretch out my tape and we're going to start putting some plants in the ground So I figured I'd take a second real quick before I get started. I will show you one plant planting, but I'm not gonna show you all of them, probably put it on time lapse. But I kinda wanna just kinda show you the depth and spacing wise for these plants. So my Brussels sprouts here, I'm gonna bury them to that about that top leaf, right, or that bottom leaf, about right there. Uh, support the plant a whole lot better. These have been in a greenhouse, so they haven't really seen too much wind. They don't have a lot of stability to them yet. So we're gonna bury them deep and try to brace them up a good bit. Now these, I'm gonna be spacing at two foot so that they have plenty of room to grow. Uh, they do put off some pretty good sized branches and that'll give them plenty of room to spread out and grow some deep roots, wide roots and wide branches. So moving on down to radishes and everything else, if you can see their root, I mean, their leaves start real close. So I'll just bury it down to that point right there and they'll be fine. I'm gonna be spacing these, all my lettuces, all my radishes and all my spinach at about six inches. Uh, but all everything in this tray is about the same. I will be burying my butter crunch or this is remain a little bit deeper, but everything else is leaves starting right at the soil line. So they should be good. But like I said, we'll be planting those six inches apart. And my onions, we will be doing six inches apart as well. But I'm gonna go ahead and bury them about, we'll probably bury them about right there, about an inch, kind of where, just the same thing with the, the Brussels sprouts. We just wanna kind of support that stem. So I'll grab the lettuce. I think that's what I'm gonna plant first. And I'll show you one of those and then we'll put up a time lapse and I'll show you what it all looks like whenever we have it in the ground. So we're, I've got a tape laid out through the, whole the gar through the whole garden to make sure I stay in a straight line and I can space these things correctly. So I'm just gonna start at the one foot mark and then I'm gonna go, you know, every half foot, I'm gonna be planting this lettuce. I'm gonna start with the romaine. So basically I'm just gonna take my bulb uh, planter Put in the soil, pop it out. Oh, broke it. I guess I won't be using that. My daddy bought this one, it's made in China, of course. So this soil's pretty loose, I'm just gonna be using my hand. So we'll dig it back. And then I'm gonna take these little cubes that we use to make those block makers. Just pull one apart. You see how the roots are kind of coming out the bottom. And you just pull that away. You don't have that plastic. We'll set that in there. It's a little deep. I'm trying to do this with one hand, hold the camera in the other. Plant that in there. And then we're just gonna pour sole back around it. 
kind of press down make sure you're getting good contact and you don't have any air gaps in there to collect water to drown out the plant so i'm gonna set the camera up and we're gonna get rolling we've got 60 foot to go with lettuce spinach and radish and then i think we'll be planting our onions and our brussels sprouts on the second row so like I said, let me get the camera set up and we'll get at it. So we got all our lettuce, our radishes, and our spinach planted. Now it's time to work on the Brussels sprouts and the onions. Man, I tell you what, that squatting down on your knees is tough on an old man, but I guess we'll have to power through and we'll keep on moving on and not too many more plants to plant and we'll be done for the afternoon. So we finally got everything planted. Uh, we've got all our lettuce, radishes, spinach, um, onions, and Brussels sprouts in the ground, ready to go for the spring. Uh, we're so excited to get the garden started. Uh, I love some fresh vegetables straight out the garden, and honestly, I just love I just love doing it. So I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and also. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified next time we post a video and leave us a comment uh, tell us what you're planting in your garden this year um, if you would have done anything different let me know that too uh, i'm always willing to learn so i really appreciate it y'all take care and we'll see y'all on the next one